Sometimes a revolutionary innovation reshapes the United States Army's entire arsenal. The M10 Booker is one such game changer, set to redefine the capabilities of the Army's infantry brigade combat teams. This vehicle represents more than just a new piece of hardware. It marks a crucial leap in the U.S. Army's most significant transformation in decades. As the Army gears up for large-scale combat operations in a multi-domain environment, the Booker is crucial to this grand vision. Designed to seamlessly integrate into the Army's evolving strategy, it ensures that U.S. forces remain formidable and adaptive in the face of modern military challenges. The journey to develop the M10 Booker began with the U.S. Army recognizing the shortcomings of its existing armored vehicles. When the M551 Sheridan was retired in 1996, it left a noticeable gap in the Army's ability to provide rapid, light-armored support to infantry units. The Sheridan had been essential for quickly delivering firepower to support troops, and its absence was felt across the Army. This gap became even more evident during the global war on terror. In Iraq and Afghanistan, the U.S. Army depended heavily on the M1 Abrams main battle tank and the Stryker mobile gun system. While the Abrams is highly effective, it is too heavy and logistically challenging for quick deployment in rough environments. The Stryker MGS, though equipped with a powerful 105mm cannon, faced issues with its armor and autoloader reliability. These challenges highlighted the need for a new vehicle that could combine tank-like firepower with the mobility needed for modern high-intensity conflicts. As the U.S. military shifted its focus towards potential conflicts with major adversaries like China and Russia, it became clear that infantry brigade combat teams needed more powerful and protected vehicles. Unlike striker brigade combat teams and armored brigade combat teams, IBCTs relied mainly on light vehicles such as Humvees and joint light tactical vehicles. While these vehicles are useful, they lack the necessary firepower and protection for high-end warfare. To address this need, the U.S. Army launched the Mobile Protected Firepower, or MPF, program in 2015. The aim was to develop a vehicle that could bridge the gap between heavy tanks and lighter, less protected infantry vehicles. The MPF program sought to create a platform capable of destroying bunkers, fortifications, and light to medium armored vehicles, thus providing vital support to infantry units in both offensive and defensive operations. During the prototyping phase, two main competitors emerged, BAE Systems and General Dynamics Land Systems. Ultimately, General Dynamics Griffin II design won the initial $1.14 billion contract in 2022. The name? It's a tribute that carries significant symbolic weight. The M10 Booker honors two distinguished soldiers whose bravery and sacrifice exemplify the spirit of the U.S. Army. Private Robert D. Booker, a Medal of Honor recipient, demonstrated extraordinary valor during World War II in Tunisia. Staff Sergeant Stephen A. Booker, awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, showcased similar heroism during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The decision to name the vehicle after both an infantryman and an armor soldier reflects the M10's dual role. It symbolizes the vehicle's mission to support infantry units with armored firepower, bridging the gap between lighter infantry vehicles and heavier tanks. This naming convention also underscores the collaborative effort between infantry and armor, a critical aspect of modern combined arms operations. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Let's first look at the technical specifications and capabilities of the Booker. The M10 is equipped with a 105mm M35 cannon at the heart of its offensive capabilities. This cannon provides powerful, precise, and long-range fire support. Supporting the main gun is a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted alongside the cannon. This machine gun is designed to handle infantry and light vehicle threats effectively. Additionally, the Booker features an M250 caliber machine gun mounted above the commander's hatch. This heavy machine gun offers substantial firepower for engaging ground and low-flying aerial targets, enhancing the vehicle's versatility in combat. A key feature is its advanced fire control system, which shares components with the M1 Abrams. This sophisticated system includes targeting and tracking capabilities, allowing the crew to engage targets accurately even while on the move. The integration of thermal imaging and advanced optics ensures that the Booker can operate effectively in various visibility conditions, from daylight to total darkness. 
The M10 weighs between 38 and 42 tons, which is about half the weight of the 70-ton M1 Abrams main battle tank. This lighter weight contributes significantly to its mobility and deployability. The vehicle is powered by an 800 horsepower MTU 8V199 TE22 diesel engine. This engine balances power and fuel efficiency, enabling the Booker to reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour on paved roads. Such speed provides the agility necessary to keep up with fast-moving infantry units and respond swiftly to changing battlefield conditions. Compared to the turbine-powered Abrams, the Booker's diesel engine offers much lower fuel consumption, enhancing operational endurance and logistical efficiency. Its track design further enhances its off-road capabilities. It can traverse rugged terrain, climb obstacles, and maneuver in environments where wheeled vehicles might struggle. This versatility ensures that the Booker can support infantry operations in a wide range of settings. It is operated by a crew of four, a commander, a gunner, a driver, and a loader. This traditional tank crew configuration is similar to that found in the Abrams. The commander oversees the vehicle's operations and maintains battlefield awareness. The gunner operates the main and coaxial weapons, the driver manages the vehicle's mobility, and the loader ensures a steady supply of ammunition to the main cannon. The Booker is built with robust armor designed to protect its crew and systems. The base armor provides substantial protection against small arms fire, shell fragments, and improvised explosive devices. For enhanced defense, it can be equipped with Modular Explosive Reactive Armor, or ERA, tiles. These ERA tiles detonate upon impact with an incoming projectile, significantly reducing its penetrative power and preventing damage to the vehicle's main armor. This combination of passive and reactive armor systems ensures that the Booker can operate effectively in high-threat environments. However, one notable omission in the initial models is the absence of an active protection system, APS for short. APS technology is designed to detect and intercept incoming anti-tank guided missiles and rocket-propelled grenades before they can hit the vehicle. While future versions of the Booker may incorporate such systems, the current models rely on their robust passive and reactive armor for defense against these threats. Now, as mentioned at the beginning, the M10 is not just a new addition to the U.S. Army's vehicle fleet. It represents a fundamental shift in how the Army supports its light infantry units and responds to modern combat challenges. Let's see how. Traditionally, light infantry has relied on minimal armored support, often limited to lighter vehicles like the Humvee or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. The Booker fills this gap by providing direct fire support with its 105mm M35 cannon significantly enhancing the firepower available to infantry units. This allows infantry to neutralize threats such as fortified structures and mobile armored units without waiting for the heavier, slower deploying M1 Abrams. It's important to highlight that the Army refers to the M10 Booker as mobile protected firepower rather than a light tank. This designation emphasizes its role in supporting light infantry rather than engaging in direct tank-on-tank -tank combat. One of its standout features is its rapid deployment capability. Designed with strategic mobility in mind, it can be transported by C-17 Globemaster III aircraft. This transportability allows the Army to deploy it quickly to various theaters of operation, including austere or contested environments. The ability to load two bookers into a single C-17 aircraft ensures that a significant armored presence can be established rapidly, providing immediate support to deployed infantry units. The strategic importance of this capability cannot be overstated. In modern warfare scenarios, rapid response and the ability to operate in contested environments are crucial. Its design enables it to be part of the global response force, allowing it to be deployed anywhere in the world within hours. For example, in a hypothetical scenario involving a potential Chinese invasion of Taiwan, the Booker's smaller size and rapid deployment capability would allow U.S. troops to establish a presence on surrounding islands much faster than the Abrams, which requires more extensive logistical support. Beyond its air transport capabilities, its mobility on the ground is equally impressive. It can navigate rough terrain, climb obstacles, and maintain pace with fast-moving infantry units. This operational flexibility ensures that the Booker can support infantry operations across diverse environments, from urban settings to rugged off-road terrains. In a theoretical scenario involving a conflict over Taiwan, the U.S. could leverage its capabilities to establish a rapid response force. 
The island's geography, characterized by rugged mountains overlooking flat, rolling plains, and densely populated cities, would be more suitable for the Booker than the heavier M1 Abrams. Of course, bringing a new vehicle to life hasn't been without its hurdles. During the initial testing phase, several issues were identified with the prototypes. One significant problem was the buildup of toxic fumes inside the vehicle when firing the main gun. This issue, reminiscent of early problems with the M551 Sheridan, posed a serious health risk to the crew. To mitigate this, modifications were made to the ventilation system to ensure that toxic gases were quickly expelled from the vehicle, improving air quality within the turret. Cooling was another critical issue identified during testing. The initial cooling system struggled to maintain optimal temperatures, particularly during extended operations. Overheating can lead to mechanical failures and reduced operational capability. Engineers addressed this by redesigning the cooling system to enhance airflow and ensure that the engine and other critical components remained within safe temperature ranges during operation. These early trials also revealed vulnerabilities in the vehicle's survivability against operational threats. While specific details remain classified, these findings prompted additional design changes to bolster the Booker's armor and defensive capabilities, ensuring it could withstand various battlefield hazards. In July 2024, the M10 Booker has entered an extensive operational testing and evaluation phase. This phase is crucial for assessing the vehicle's performance under realistic combat conditions and making any necessary refinements before full-scale production and deployment. The 82nd Airborne Division has been at the forefront of this testing, incorporating the vehicle into their training and operational exercises to rigorously evaluate its capabilities. During this operational testing phase, soldiers from the 82nd Airborne have been conducting various maneuvers and live fire exercises to test the Booker's reliability, maintainability, and overall combat effectiveness. This comprehensive evaluation is expected to conclude by early fiscal year 2025, allowing sufficient time for data collection and analysis to ensure it meets all operational requirements. Feedback from these tests will inform any final adjustments needed before the vehicle is fully integrated into Army units. The U.S. Army has set an acquisition goal of 504 units for both the Army and the National Guard, with minor adjustments possible over time. The program aims to deploy four M10 Booker battalions by 2030 and complete the acquisition process by 2035. The projected cost per unit is approximately $13 million, with the total life cycle cost, including sustainment, construction, maintenance, and upkeep, expected to reach $17 billion. The integration of the M10 Booker into the U.S. Army is set to drive a significant reevaluation of current tactics and doctrines. With the reliable armored support provided by this new combat vehicle, infantry units will be empowered to undertake more ambitious operations. This shift will likely lead to more integrated and combined arms approaches, leveraging the strengths of both infantry and armor to enhance operational effectiveness. Future upgrades and technological integrations will further enhance the capabilities of this vehicle. The potential addition of an active protection system will significantly boost its survivability, making it more resilient against modern anti-tank threats. Another area for potential development is the integration of drone defense systems. The increasing use of drones in modern warfare poses a new set of challenges for armored vehicles. Equipping the M10 with advanced drone detection and neutralization capabilities would help protect it from aerial threats, ensuring it remains an effective support platform for infantry units. This could involve the use of electronic warfare systems to jam drone communications or kinetic solutions to shoot down hostile drones. Additionally, advancements in sensor technology and artificial intelligence could further enhance battlefield capabilities. Improved sensors could provide better situational awareness, allowing the crew to detect and engage threats more efficiently. AI-driven systems could assist in target acquisition and threat assessment, reducing the cognitive load on the crew and improving overall combat effectiveness. On a global scale, this new vehicle is poised to enhance the U.S. military's strategic posture. Its rapid deployment capabilities mean that U.S. forces can establish a presence quickly in key regions, deterring adversaries and reassuring allies. In summary, the M10 Booker is set to play a pivotal role in the future of U.S. Army operations. Its blend of firepower, mobility, and advanced defensive systems 
will enhance the Army's combat capabilities, making it a crucial asset in modern and future military engagements.